Talmud Bavli, Tractate Brachot, Perikrishon, Amud Dalid Bet. The Ik Rabban Gamliel Svira Lehu, and if they hold like Rabban Gamliel, Lame Ruk Rabban Gamliel, let them say like Rabban Gamliel, that one may recite evening Shman till dawn. Gemara answers, Le Olam Karaban Gamliel Svira Lehu, really the sages hold like Rabban Gamliel. The Hadaka the Amre Ad Chatzot, and this that they said, Shma is until midnight. Can be done. Can be said until midnight. Kedai leharchik et hadam min haavera. It's for the purpose of distancing a person from sin. Kidetanya, as was taught in the following beraisa, chachimim asosiyag lidverehem. The sages made offence for their words. Kedai shelo yehe adam ba min hasade ba erev veomer. In order that a person should not return from the field in the evening and say. Elech lebeiti, I will first go to my house. Ve'ochal kima ve'eshte kima ve'ishan kima, and eat a little, drink a little, and sleep a little. Ve'achakach ekrai kriyat shma ve'palel, and afterwards I will recite the shma and pray, uh, and do the shmon esrei. Ve'chotavto shena ve'nimtza yashen kol halayla. A deep sleep will then take hold of him, and the result will be that he will sleep through the entire night. Without saying Shema, Avaladam ba min hasade ba erev. Rather, a person should come from the field in the evening. Nichnas lo veda knesset. Go. He should go directly to the and enter the synagogue. Im ragil lukrot kore. If he is accustomed to read uh, uh, to read scripture, he should read scripture. Ve im ragil lishnot shone. If he is accustomed to study Mishnah, he should study Mishnah. Ve kore kriat Shema mipalil, and then he recites Shema and prays Shema Yisrael. Ve'elchel pito umevarech and eats his bread and recites the blessing after it. Ve'chol ha'over al divrei chachamim chayav mita. And whoever transgresses the words of the sages is liable to death. Meishna bechol duchta delo katane chayav mita. Why is it that in all places it does not state that one is liable to death? Uh, for violating, an, violating a rabbinic injunction. Whereas here, uh, regarding Shema, after midnight, it states that one is liable to death. If you prefer, say, because there is coercion of there is coercion of sleep. Um, so the rabbis had to be forceful. Secondly, or if you prefer, say, uh, to exclude the one who says evening prayer is elective. The Baraisa informs us that it is compulsory. I'm just going to scroll up. We're currently at Dehova. So we'll just scroll. So we're reading from Dehova, from Amama Kore. Okay. Amama Kore Kriyat Shema Umit Palel. He recites... So the master said, uh, he recites the evening Shema and then he prays the Shema Nesra. Me saya le le Rabbi Yochanan. 
the breast is supports Rabbi Yochanan, De Amar Rabbi Yochanan, for Rabbi Yochanan said, Ezehu ben haolam haba, who is worthy of the world to come? Ze hasomech geula litfila shel arvit, one who joins the redemption, which is recited after Shema, to the evening prayer. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Omer, Tfilot ba emsa tiknum, the sages established the prayers in between, in between, uh, meaning in between the morning Shema and the evening Shema. So one says the evening Shema after the evening prayer. Sorry, in what do they disagree? If you prefer, say, a verse, if you prefer, say, a rational argument. If you prefer, say, uh, this disagreement is based on a, ration, on a rational argument, Rabbi Yochanan Sava Geula Me Orta Nami Have for Rabbi Yochanan holds the redemption from Egypt also occurred in the evening. Ela Geula Me Al Yeta Lo Havya Ela Ad Tsvara, but the real redemption did not occur until the morning, the complete redemption. The Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi Sava, whereas Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi holds Kevan de la Havya Ela Mitzafra. Since it did not occur until the morning, lo havya geula ma al yeta. It's not considered a real redemption. The ibait ema kra. If you prefer, say a verse. Say the verse. Ushnehemi kra echad darsho. Both of them expand the same verse. Dichtiv. As it's written, when you lie down and when you arise, Rabbi Yochanan Savar Makish Hina Lekima. Rabbi Yochanan maintains the verse compares lying down, uh, shma, the evening Shema, to arising, the morning Shema, as follows Makima Kriyat Shema Vachakach Tfila. Just as arising is the recitation of the Shema and then prayer. Af shchiva nami kriyat shma va'acha kach tefila. So too, lying down uh, is recitation of the shma, and then uh, in the evening is the recitation of the shma and then prayer. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi sevar makish shchiva lekima. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi maintains the verse compares lying down to arising. Makima kriyat shma samach lemitato. Just as arising. The recitation of Shema is close to his bed. So too, lying down uh, in the evening, the recitation of the Shema is close to uh, the time he goes to bed. Mativ Marbere de Ravina, Mar the son of Ravina, Ravina challenged this. In the evening, one recites two blessings before Shema and two blessings after it. Now, if you say to join uh, the blessing of redemption to the evening prayer, there's a difficulty. But one does not join redemption to prayer because he needs to recite um, to recite Hashkivenu, lay us down in between. Amre, they said, Kevan de de takinu rabbanan hashkivenu. Since the rabbis instituted hashkivenu, lay us down. Kigula arichta dem damia. It is like a long blessing of redemption. De ilo temahachi, and if you do not say so. Shacharit hechi matze samich. In the morning, how can one join? Blessing of redemption to prayer. Veha ma Rabbi Yochanan. Why Rabbi Yochanan has said, Batchila omer, Hashem sfatai tiftach. In the beginning, he should say, My Lord, open my lips. Ulevasof hu omer yehiyur l'raton imripi. And at the end, should say, May the expressions of my mouth find favor. 
אלא הצם כיוון דתקינו רבנן למימה השם שפתי תפתח רדה We say that since the rabbis instituted to say my Lord open my lips, kitvila arichta damye. It is like one long prayer. Hachinami hitu kevan de de takinu rabbanan lemeima hashkivenu. Since the rabbis instituted to say lay us down, kigula arichta damya. It is like one long redemption, and there is no interruption between the blessing of redemption and the prayer. Uh, another teaching Ama Rabbi Elazar Ama Rabbi Avina Rabbi Elazar said in the name of Rabbi Avina Bechol Yom Shalosh Pamim Sorry Said again Kol Haomer Haomer Tehillah David Bechol Yom Shalosh Pamim Anyone who recites a Tehillah David uh, That's uh, Tehillah 145 Anyone who recites a praise by David three times a day Mutach lo shehu ben haolam haba can trust that he he's uh, he will come in the world he will go to the world to come. My tama, what's the reason? Il ilema mishum de atia be elef beit. If you say this uh, to him, because it follows the order of aleph beis. Neima ashre tmeime darech de atia bitman. Bit manya apim. Let us recite Tehillim 119. Praiseworthy are those whose way is wholesome, which follows, uh, which follows eight repetitions of Aleph base. Ela mishom de it be potech etedecha. Rather, Tehillim 145 because it contains potech etedecha. You open your hand. Neima halel hagadol diktiv be noten lechem lechobasa. Let us recite the great Hallel in which it is written, He gives bread to all living creatures. Ela mishum te it be tate. Rather, Tilim 145, because it has both. Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Mipnei malo lo neemar nun be'ashre. Why is... Uh, The letter Nun, not mentioned in Ashrei, Tehillim 145. Mipnei sheyesh ba mepaltan shel son a Israel, because the letter Nun contains uh, the downfall, an allusion to the downfall of Israel's enemies. Dichtiv nafla lo tosiv kum betulat Israel. As it's written, she has fallen and will no longer rise, the maiden of Israel, which starts with the nun nafla. Ba ma'arava metartila hachi. Sorry, one moment. Yeah, sorry. Um, again, in the West, they explain it, uh, in the West means in Eretz Israel, they explain it as follows. She has fallen but will no longer do so. Arise, O maiden of Israel. Rav Nachman Baritzach, Rav Nachman Baritzach said, Even so, David came and supported them with the Divine Spirit, with the Shekhinah, Beruch HaKodesh. Shnema, Somech Hashem L'chol Anoflim, as it's written, God supports all the fallen ones. Another teaching by Rabbi Elazar Baravina. Ama Rabbi Elazar Baravina, Gadol Ma, Shnema B'Michael, Yoter Mima, Shnema B'Gavriel. Greater is that which is said with regard to Uh, Michael, uh, the angel Michael, then that which is said with regard to the angel Gabriel. De ilo be Michael ktiv, for with regard to Michael it's written, ve yaaf elai echad min hastrafim. One of the strafim flew to me. Ve ilo gabe Gabriel ktiv, whereas with regard to Gabriel it's written, ve haish Gabriel asher raiti bechazon batchila me muaf biaf vegomet. And the man, Gabriel, whom I saw in the early vision, 
was lifted in flood. My Mashma Dahai Echad Michael Hu. What implies that this one Echad refers to Michael? Ama Rabbi Yochanan Atya Echad Echad. It is derived um, one one, meaning it is derived from a link Gezer Shava between the mention of the word one and a different mention of the word one. Ksiv Hacha. It is written here, one of the Srafim flew to me. And it is written elsewhere, and behold, Michael, one of the former, foremost heavenly princes, came to help me. Tana, a brother teaches, Michael Ba'achat, Michael in one, Gabriel Bishtaim, Gabriel in two, Eliyahu Ba'arba, Eliyahu in four, Umelach HaMavet Bishmone, the angel of death in eight, Uve Uvi Sha'at HaMagefa Be'achat, but in a time, but in a time of plague, it's one. Now, um, a teaching about the requirement to repeat the Shema at bedtime. Ama Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said, Afal pishte kara dam kriyat shema bevet haknesset. Even though a person recited the shema in, the, in shul, in the in bet knesset, in the evening prayer, mitzvah likrato al mitato. It is a mitzvah to recite it at one's bedside. Ama Rabbi Yose, Rabbi Yose said, My kara, what's the verse? Rigzu ve'al techta'u imru bilvavchem al mishkvavchem ve'domu selah tremble and sin not reflect in your hearts while on your beds and be utterly silent selah. The qualification Amar Rav Nachman Rav Nachman said 